Hello everyone, it's Jin Tisher coming to you again from Reading Town. It's good to see you. Today's article is entitled The Largest Outdoor Training Class. And we see uh, the mark for the Guinness World Records. So we know that some record was broken. So let's see what this training class and it's outdoor, meaning it's outside, and it was the largest. So let's see where, when, who, why, and what it is. So it says here, nowadays, more and more people are concerned about their health. So more people uh, want to focus on being healthier. As a way of keeping fit, people spend more of their time exercising. So uh, keeping fit or staying fit means that you're healthy, you're in good condition, you can be active. So they want to spend more time exercising. So let's see what this exercising is all about. World famous fitness coach Joe Wicks broke the Guinness World Record for a high intensity interval training class with the most outdoor participants. So he broke Joe Wicks, who is a very famous fitness coach. So he's a fit physical trainer. Uh, he broke the Guinness World Record for what? For high intensity interval training class. So high intensity means it's very, uh, it's very extreme or it's very strong at a very short amount of time. So you may do a lot of very hard workouts for a very short time uh, and that's the interval. Interval means uh, set times where it cycles through. So maybe they'll do something for three minutes and then they'll do something that's a little bit easier for one minute and then go back to do something very hard for three minutes and they'll keep uh, doing that interval. And he did that kind of class uh, with the most outdoor participants. So participants are people who join or people who take part uh, in something. So there were so many people outside and they were doing this high intensity interval training class with uh, this famous trainer or famous fitness coach, Joe Wicks. It says here, the previous record was set in Los Angeles in March, 2015. So previous means the record before that. Uh, so the world record for the most people outside working out was in 2015 in Los Angeles. As part of the Barclay Card Presents British Summertime Festival, he held a training class at Hyde Park. So it was in Hyde Park uh, and it was part of the Barclay Card uh, Presents British Summertime Festival. Um, so because of this festival, they were having this large event and it broke the Guinness World Record. He had to prepare health programs with a combination of intense and recovery exercises. So Joe Wicks, in order to break this world record, he needed a lot of people, but he needed a good program. So in his program, there was high intensity. Uh, it was a combination, so it was a mix of intense and recovery exercises. So intense would be something that you do that's very difficult for a very short time, and recovery exercise is kind of how you kind of slow it down, catch your breath. Uh, but you're not sitting still, but you're still doing exercises that are not as extreme or as intense. Uh, all participants had to continually exercise for more than 30 minutes. So this exercise lasted for more than 30 minutes. So it wasn't like an all day thing, but it wasn't a very short thing either. Nearly 4,000 people participated in the class and worked hard for better health. So how many people were in it? 4,000 people. So that was the world record for working out together outside. The participation fee was five pounds and all the money raised by the class will be donated to the Teenage Cancer Trust. So how much did people have to pay in order to join this uh, world record outdoor exercise? It was five pounds and that's the money that they use over there in England. And all the money that they gathered from this, so that's 4,000 people, nearly 4,000 people, and you multiply that by five pounds and all that money will be donated or given to the Teenage Cancer Trust. So it's this fund, the money that they have set aside so that they can help uh, teenagers who have cancer. Uh, so Wick said, my mission in life is to get as many people as possible inspired and motivated to become fitter and leaner. So uh, as, Joe, uh, as Mr. Wick said, Joe Wicks, he was saying that his goal in life uh, is to get many people as he can to get uh, very interested and wanting to uh, be very fit and stay in healthy good shape and also become leaner so not very large or fat so he wants people to be very uh, trim he wants them to be in good shape and he wants them to exercise and how did he do that by having this world record outdoor uh, high intensity workout 
Uh, so this training class may not be for everyone, but it's become very popular because a lot of people don't have a lot of time to work out. So in very short amount of time, you can get a lot of uh, work done in your body. You can sweat it out uh, and get fit in a short amount of time. Uh, so this is a very popular way of training and it's even broken the world record over there in England. So very interesting article of the largest outdoor training class. So let's take a look at today's uh, questions. Uh, let's answer the first question. It says, who broke the Guinness World Record for the largest high intensity interval training class? So we said it was people uh, at a park and I think that's the picture where the largest outdoor training was taking place and it was uh, the famous trainer do you remember his name it was Joe Wicks so he was a famous world trainer before and now he's also known for breaking this world record with over uh, thousands of people and that's our next question so it says how many people participated in training in the training class so it was more than hundreds uh, so it was less than 5,000 do you remember and the correct number was nearly 4,000 people. So almost 4,000 people gathered together at the park. Uh, where was the outdoor training class held? I almost said the answer again. So uh, it was somewhere in England and we know that it was a park. Do you remember the name of the park? If you can remember, the name of the park was Hyde Park. And that's where the record was broken with nearly 4,000 people led by the world famous trainer, Joe Wicks. Let's take a look at the last part of our comprehension for our article today. It says, nowadays, more and more people are concerned about their... What are people concerned about? What do people care about, think about, worry about, and they want to try to improve? And something that's very important to everyone is their health. So people want to be extra... Uh, they want to be healthy. They want to make sure that they can exercise and stay fit. So as a blank of keeping fit, people spend more of their time <clears throat> exercising excuse me so as a something of keeping fit so they want to try to keep fit so people spend more of their time exercising so what will go in the blank so as a way or as a method so as a way of keeping fit uh, people exercise more and more so I know that in Korea there's so many uh, new gyms and people are going there to exercise uh, so here the last part says all blank had to continually exercise for more than 30 minutes. So we need a noun here. So all who, so all the people, but the people who joined, the people who took part, that's a clue. And we said that that word, if you join all the participants. So if you're in a contest or if you're in a team or you're doing something with other people in a group, so you will be a participant, someone who's taking part. So all these people gathered together at Hyde Park and almost 4,000 of them broke this world record and it's for a good reason. They want to stay fit. They want to be healthy. So you and I, we need to constantly think about and be concerned about our health so that we can live a very full life. And Joe Wicks, people like him, trainers all over the world are doing their part to help people uh, be aware of what you can do to be healthy. So maybe not this uh, high interval or high intensity interval training, but some kind of exercise uh, will be very beneficial for both you and me. So I hope you enjoyed today's article and stay fit and be healthy. And I'll see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.